hey guys welcome back to my channel growing orchids in jamaica well guys i want to highlight one of my makora arantanda orchid bed today and why i want to highlight it is because it is really putting on a stunning show guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe so you see just how I grow orchids in Jamaica. And so if you want to see all the colorful blooms and the different kinds of orchids that are blooming in this bed, just stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back now this garden here this bed is one of my well not the latest but one of my newer beds because this area i actually had grass here and because of the bordering that i have here it made it so difficult for us to maintain this area and so i decided to remove the grass and place an orchid bed there and guys i have not regretted the day that i did that because this bed seemed to be one of my most beautiful and prominent orchid bed let me show you these vanda arantanda orchids makora that i have here they're actually in one of those old brass basin but what happened is that I actually got this succulent plant in a pot when I purchased another plant and of course it just started taking over the entire place and of course I decided to leave it and now I've placed some Vanda and some Makora orchids in this bed and guys those that succulent is actually making a bed into it. I'm not sure if it will affect it negatively yet, but if it does, then I will remove some of them. So let me introduce you to some of the plants that I have here. This one is a, let me show you the tag. It's a Makara Walter Omia bread. And it's one of my newer purchase as well and i just think it is a stunning one guys look at that isn't that beautiful yes it is another one that i have here over in this corner here is let me show you the idea again it's another makara it's a makara tamida white and it is such a gorgeous one just look at that so beautiful guys yes it sure is and this one over here it's not actually into this container but it's right by the container i'll get the id for you in a little while so this one is the aranda gyrac heart grub bright pink but isn't that putting on a splendid show? Yes. And let me continue here. Let me show you what's happening behind here. I have highlighted my Oncidium orchids before that I have mounted. And of course, it is putting on another beautiful show around there. It's always in bloom. And believe me, guys, it brings a little sunshine to my garden even when not many orchids are blooming. All right, so let me continue here. This one is actually one of the first Vanda orchids that I've purchased. It never stopped blooming and this is actually a tall one. It could have been taller, but what, what I do, once they're getting too tall, I try to cut them back because I don't want them to be too tall. Now look here. These are actually some cross with the Merv Belpius. Let me see if I can find the ID. So this is the Vanda Merv L Belpius. 
which is crossed with the bandar Adizak. Yes, and that is what that looks like. And here we have some others. That's another cross with the Marvelpius. I can't reach the ID right now, but I'll certainly find it and put it on the screen for you. Now looky here. This yellow one here, guys, is a new purchase. It's actually the Makara Banana Yellow. And just look how stunning that is. Putting on a beautiful show. Yes, guys. And behind that is the multi shade red. And of course, another Marvelpius cross above that. Yes, guys, that's what is happening here. Now, for me, this is my star plant. Just look at this dendrobium. This dendrobium actually has on it two spikes. Yes, guys, two beautiful spikes. And it is just putting on this splendid show. Look at that, guys, how beautiful it is. It is actually the dendrobium aragon orange. I keep wondering why they call it orange because I am seeing pink, I'm seeing a shade of perhaps uh, mustard. When you look at the buds, yes, but somehow there is a little tinge of orange, and I guess it depends on what it is crossed with, why it perhaps got that name. And look at the splendid show that it is actually putting on guys yes that's the dendrobium aragon orange isn't that beautiful yes guys and so let me show you what this bed looks like uh, before i do that this hair of course you know the epidendrum time is coming around so they are actually spiking Right now, I don't have many of them in bloom, but this is one of the red guys. Yes. And look at that. Let me see if we can capture this dendrobium aragon orange from this angle. How beautiful it is. All right. Let me see if I can zero in on this small one which is all the way down here i'll put the id on the screen because i do have the id for this one it is also one of my newer ones and i think this one is actually blooming for the second time and it is just so gorgeous guys yes it is show you again this is what this bed looks like from this angle and it is just putting on a stunning show and I really really enjoy in the mornings once I step off my veranda this is what greets me guys and I am sure you are enjoying it just as much as I'm enjoying it too this rose pink I am not seeing the ID for it, but it too is a beautiful one here. So it was just raining and the rain has eased and I just decided to do a short video to just show you what is taking place in this part of my orchid bed. I still have a few spikes that are coming up so you would realize that the moment I lose a spike another one is coming out and therefore this bed is just always in blue and I just love it I just love it isn't it beautiful ah oh, yes it is in this bed I actually have a few cylindrical towers and on each tower I have maybe four five plants sometimes less and that in itself sort of helped this bed to become very compact. 
So guys, we need to name this bed. I am going to put out a request. I'm gonna put out a request for you to help me to name this bed. There is one on the other side that I call Faithful, but this one seemed to take over from my Faithful Bloomer. And I want you to be the ones to actually name this bed for me. So guys, please leave a comment below and give me your suggestion as to what I could call this bed. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And so you never miss another video, please subscribe to my channel. And as we say in a Jamaica, just follow back me. This is the Orchid Dog. And I am growing orchids in Manchester, Jamaica.